Well, good morning, friends. Miss Terrell here, or good afternoon, or good evening, whichever time of day you have chosen to watch this video. All right, guys, so we are here so that we can continue to grow our brain. All right, we're gonna work with some digraphs today. And remember, our digraphs are those two letters that are put together to make one sound. We're gonna review all of them, but today we're only gonna focus on SH and CH. But let's review all of our friends' sounds. Let's start right here with P-H, phone, good job. W-H, whistle, wah, wah, wah. T-H, thumb, th, th, th. C-K, sock, k, sock. K. All right, friends. And our S-H, ship, shh. Remember, when you see the S and the H together, they make the sound shh. C H chin ch ch. C H together says ch ch. All right, friends. So we're going to build some words. We're going to start with our C H sound. Let's just think of some things that we may have around the house. What's something that we may have around the house that has the ch ch sound for our C H? So I'm going to go ahead and write the C H right here. So you know that we are focusing on our CH sound. Good job, friend. Hmm, I can think of something. How about chips? Ch, ch. So we know we're gonna write that CH. Now what are we gonna write for the rest of our word? Ch, ips, ips. Hmm, what letter says I, I? Good job, friends. I hear you. That letter I makes the I sound. What letter says P? -p, -p? That P. Great job, friends. And then our last sound, S. No, not that C. I know we always want to say that C, but we have to remember that S makes the S sound. S, snake, S. Good job. So we're gonna put that on there. So here's our CH and our word is chips. Good job. Let's think of something else. Hmm, what's something that we have in our living room that we sit on? There's two things. One, we could have a chair, ch -ch air, in our living room and that has our handy dandy ch sound on the front <gasps> what's that big thing <gasps> a couch good job friends i hear you and some of us have a couch and we have that ch sound so you see friends the ch sound can be at the beginning of the word or it can be at the end of a word I have a fancy word that has CH at the beginning and the end. What do you think that word is? It's a place that some of us may go on Sundays. Some of us may go a different day of the week. Good job, friends. Let me erase these other words so that I can put that word right here at the top so that we can see. Here's that word, friends. That word is church. You see, we have the CH at the beginning of the word and the CH at the end of the word, church. So let's review very quickly our other words. Ch, ch, CH says, ch, ch. good job. We have chips around the house that have a CH word. We have a chair in our living room that has the CH sound. And we have a big old couch that we have in our living room that has that CH sound. Good job, friends. All those CH sounds for all of those handy dandy things that we have right at home. Don't forget, look through your house and see if you can find other things that has that CH sound in it. Review. What's that CH sound, friends? Good job, guys. Great job, friends. All right, let me erase the board so that we can get ready 
to move on to our next diagram. So the next one that we are going to use is going to be SH. And what does that SH sound say, guys? That's right. If you said shh, you got that right. So I'm going to write our SH right here at the top so we can focus only on our SH sounds. Now, let's go around the house. And Miss Terrell, this time, she's going to go around her room and she's going to find things in her room that can also have our SH sound. So while you're watching this video, run around your room, run around your house, and let's see what things that we can find with that SH sound. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna look for, Miss Terrell's gonna give us a little hint. It's something that we wear on our feet. What do we wear on our feet? That's right, friends. We wear shoes on our feet. So we're gonna write shoes. What's the first letters that we're gonna write in shoes? Great job, friends. S-H, the sound that we are working on shoes good job and remember if you're pulling out a piece of paper and a pencil to write down these words as well make sure when you are done you go back and you underline the sh or the ch in the words that you were writing so you remember that that's the sound that you are working on all right so what's something else that you have at home that has the sh sound Miss Terrell's gonna go over here in her closet and she's gonna see what she can find because it's something that you wear on your body. Make sure that you're getting what wear, you can wear on your body as well. Here it is, a shirt. Good job, friends. Now let's write the word shirt. What's the first two letters that we're gonna write? If you said SH, you said the right thing. Good job, friends shirt. Good job, friends. And what are we going to do after we write our word? We're going to go back and underline our digraph. We're going to underline our SH. All right, here's another one with the SH sound. So this time the SH sound is going to be at the end. And this is the easy word. So I think that we can all tap this word out. What is something that we get in the shower using our SH digraph sound and do every day when we're in the shower? Yes, friends, you wash your body in the shower. So let's tap out that word. Wash. 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 Mm, what makes the w, w sound, friends? Great job. If you're yelling W, great job, friends. W. What makes the ah, ah, ah sound? If you said A, you got that right. Great job, friends. Now, what's the last two letters that we're going to write? What sound are we working on, friends? Shh. Good job. So we're going to write an S and an H right here. And remember, at the end, we go back and we underline that diagram. All right, friends. So we found several things around our house today that we can, that has the SH and the CH sound. Shoes, shirt, wash. Good job, friends, using that SH sound. And let's not forget the CH sound says, ch -ch -ch. good job, friends. And that SH sound says, shh. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Continue to move around your house, watching TV, reading your books, completing your Moby Max lessons. Make sure that you are looking for those SH words and those CH words and practice tapping them out. Study those sight words, get all those lessons done so that we can grow our brain and be first grade ready. All right, guys, so always happy to see you. Miss Terrell out.